Rapids, the uh, French River Rapids. Be in town tomorrow night, 7.30, then uh, Rayside Balfour Canadians on Saturday evening at 7.30. Tomorrow night is McDonald's Whiteout Night. How do I get my ice cream again now? Wear something white. Wear a white shirt. That's all hoodie, I got to do. Or wear a jersey. We got to win or something. Win by a certain number. Or? No, all you all you need to do tomorrow night to get you your McDonald's six ice times cream or? is wear something white. Make, make me the enemy in the building. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said I saw uh, the Yankees have a deal. If you score six runs, you get half your pe- half the price off the pizza the next day. Well, I saw that Tampa Bay also has that. Well, Tampa Bay hasn't scored six runs in a game <laughs> more than half a dozen times. So I don't have to score goals. We don't have to win by certain number. No, not tomorrow night. All you got to do is show up wearing something white. Okay. And uh, the first 400 fans that do so will get a coupon for a free ice cream cone, compliments of McDonald's, and thanks to Darren Graydon and the crew at McDonald's for jumping on board with us and uh, having some fun. Great concept. Yes, indeed. So uh, how long have you been out of bed this morning? Oh, about an hour. Oh, okay. So you should be good then. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so be, that was a good weekend. You swept that home at home, right? Yeah. You must have been happy. And yeah, uh, six, what, four, nothing. And yeah, things are coming along. So um, better weekend than I, and, and not because of the win loss record, just because of the. I just thought we execute a little better. I thought you dominated. Yeah, the, the team games. looked better. Yeah, looked it, better. It both just games. looked better. Yeah. More confident um, as well. Fredericks had a good weekend. Logan Fredericks? Yeah, L- Logan's starting, uh, he's getting his legs under him here in, in this league, starting to know the pace. Right. And a couple of guys are starting to be that way. Some guys were snick bitten last weekend as well. Yeah. You know, like a Mark Antoine Arsenal. Uh, again, a couple of great chances. Braden Stortz must have yeah. had possibly a dozen shots on net At on least. Saturday. At Stortz least. and uh, Wolf look good together when they played together. Yeah, you're. Uh, I agree with you. There's good chemistry there. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, you know, the other lines as well, too. I mean, guys like... Uh, I noticed Joel Forte Fortin's, out there, too. Uh, I was just going to say, Joel yeah. Forte, yeah. or, or they, you know, they're able to, to, to have sustained pressure in the O-zone, and, and, and the way Joel Forte plays uh, as a penalty killer, really, it, it's a motivator for the other guys to block some shots. His, um, half his body has to be black and blue, because he blocks shots every night. Yeah, well... Fearless. Now, I said to Fergie earlier this morning, the only thing I saw, Mark, is that you dominated the five on five, and then when you went on the power play, you gave up. Yeah. I think that's the most chances you yeah. gave up the whole game. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I, I think we gave up two chances in in the same on the same PP, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. then a third one later on in the game. So, so what's going on there? <laughs> bad breaks, bad decisions. You know, a number of things. Still uh, working on the power yeah, play then, yeah, and figuring out who goes yeah. where. And- yeah, I'm a big proponent of working the special teams a lot during the uh, the first uh, the first bit of the season. And it kind of hurts too with uh, Jesse Holton being out of the lineup, right? Oh yeah, yeah I mean, want, uh, want, yeah, I mean, he's got a big shot from the point. But I think we have enough depth this year that you know, although Jesse's out, you know, somebody else can step in and and do the yeah. job. And and Adam DeGagne and uh, Brennan Jay, mm-hmm. you know, did an admirable job. Admirable job of that. Okay, yeah, and you added a couple yeah. players this week. Maybe talk about them a little bit. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, well, we ended up getting um, uh, a boy by the name of Brendan McGuire, who mm-hmm. played in St. Jerome last year. Well, at the start of this year and last year, a defenseman. He's a 20 year old defenseman from Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Good uh, size? Good size. He's, he's going to provide us, uh, again, with reliable minutes. Okay. Which is exactly what we want. We want to reduce the, the errors mm-hmm. and the mistakes. And he's one of those, you know, stay at home, keep the game very simple. Similar uh, to uh, to Lamont? Kind of Lamont, exactly. Very similar. I love Lamont's game. Yeah. And uh, then we also have um, A.J. Rupert that we picked up from the Minnesota Iron Rangers. Okay. Uh, so, again, another Minnesota boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of speed. And, uh, you know, he, he's going to provide more depth to us. And... Um, you know, if somebody goes down type of thing, we want to have guys that can step up and it's not going to affect us. Yeah, exactly. And that's guys like Rupert and guys like Brendan McGuire, that, that's exactly what they're providing us. So pretty soon we're going to be known as the uh, Kirkland Lake, Minnesota. I was going to say, maybe quickly, Mar, how many Americans are you allowed to have? Six. You're allowed to have six. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. 
So you had a couple spots open there. Yeah, we had a couple spots open, and unfortunately, Quinn Nischke, um Right, the guy who's... You know, he got some yeah. bad news last week or a couple of weeks ago, and so... Uh, his, you know, his career is done. So he was, he was an American. So that freed up a spot there, if mm -hmm. you want to call it freed up a spot. Uh, but, um, you know, we wish him all the best. He would have been a great addition to this hockey team. The guys loved him. Oh, he's, and, he's a great guy. Yeah. You know, and I uh, only got to see him in like half a practice. <laughs> you know? That's right. And I felt so bad for the kid. I mean, 20 years old and you got to announce your retirement. Yeah. yeah that's tough, man. Yeah, I know a couple guys who retired at 14, maybe. Yeah. There's performance issues in those cases, I think. <laughs> so we should be able to press conference at the golf course every week, too. <laughs> so French River coming to town tomorrow night, Rayside Balfour yeah. on uh, Saturday, the former uh, Sudbury Capitals. Uh, okay, that's the Sudbury. Okay, I'm Sudbury trying to Barons. keep track of all these guys Sudbury here. Sudbury Barons. Yeah. Um, what do we know about French River? Have you watched them on, uh, you've seen video? Uh... We're in, I'm in the process of watching video. I started late last night. Uh, I usually start earlier. It's, it's been a busy week for, for other reasons, obviously. And, uh, you, you know, going into French River, we want to we wanna dictate play. We want to play our game and, and force them to make adjustments mm -hmm. and uh, see how it goes. And Saturday, I, I've already seen a couple of games from Sudbury mm -hmm. from uh, last week. How do they I look? think they're undefeated. I think they're fast. Yeah, no, yeah. I think they're undefeated. Yeah. So um, they look fast. They look big and skilled. Okay. They look like a five and zero team. Put it that way. So it's going to be a good test. It's going to be a very good test, and I'm sure Friday night will also. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. The, in this league, you got to show up to play, or you're going to get beat. Yep. It's nice to hear some different names, though, eh, Mark? This year. Yeah. Yeah. I, for sure. You know, and different jerseys, different names. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not the same. Uh, Rotation of three guys coming through here all the time, <laughs> and, I, and I'm sure I'm sure it gives the boys in the room a different outlook too, rather than playing the same guys. Oh, week of course, after week. yeah, of course it does get I guess ugly between uh, when you play Erica Falls every <laughs> six days. Yeah, can get a little mean between the teams, huh? <laughs> yeah, of course. So you went up there, and uh, that was a good win then, Mark. Uh, Dent was good in that. You must have been happy with he, that. Yeah, that was really good. You know what? He made a big save. I'd say about 15 seconds into the yeah, game. Exactly, a huge save. Yeah. That kind of uh, that helped us out, and, and that's where we're looking out of our goaltending. And the Kirk Lake boy got a win on uh, Friday night. Win Friday night as <laughs> well. Get the first one out of the way. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you're three and one. Year. So you look back, look pretty good, we're, right? We're, yeah. Uh, you, this weekend, we hope to build more confidence and build more momentum. Try to get on a on a streak here, mm -hmm. but. Again, we're just going to take it period by period. Uh, you know, we'll worry about Sudbury when Sudbury rolls around Saturday. We'll worry about French Forever here before that. Can you, uh, are you willing to tell us who starts in net on Friday night, tomorrow night? No, not yet. I knew you were going to say that, but I had to ask anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I get the ice cream. Where? Where do I get that? <laughs> do I go right to Graydon's? Where? No, you don't go to Graydon's house. <laughs> you go to his place of business. Uh, just make sure you're wearing white and if, uh, they, and if the only thing you have on is white underwear that doesn't count because we don't want to see it I don't know if I have anything white not a big white guy well, you better go buy something then. Hmm. We're, All right. we're bleach out a blue shirt just scotch tape that piece of paper on your shirt yeah and there's something white. I'm not a big white guy so hmm. I don't have a Jets jersey you don't have a, white you don't have a Jets jersey you don't have a Jets no. jersey no. No. no no really wow. no 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 you ought to hand in your fan card, then, if you don't have a Jets jersey. Come on. Uh, come on. What you're, am I? You're an imposter. You know, a guy in his 40s in a jersey, you know. Well, you know. Come on. Get with the program here. Let's get it together. <laughs> 7.43. Thanks for this, Mark. I guess right the on, guys. boys are on the ice in a little while. Very soon. This morning. All right. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night and uh, four-point weekend coming up. Mm. Hopefully. I Hopefully you're right. I can feel it. We're gathering momentum. We're starting to get it. Together. Fergie the clairvoyant. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yes, indeed. You got to like it. Oh, yeah. Terrific. Have a great one. That's Mark Thanks. LaFleur, head coach and general manager of the Gold Miners. 730 tomorrow night against French River Rapids. Wear white. Get a free ice cream cone from McDonald's.